everybody, it's Eric Johnson. What do you do when there's a global pandemic and you're stuck in your house and you can't get out and do your normal training routine? <laughs> You double down on learning. In this video, we're gonna talk about how the pros set up that monster finish that everybody wants, so check it out. It's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, what we're gonna talk about is the second rotational axis, and this is very difficult. Remember, one of the things we like to talk about with throwing chain reaction, it's simply an evolution of how we teach the throws. What tends to happen in throwing is that things are handed down generation after generation. There's some great stuff about that. There's some great things that'll still work. So one of the things that we know is science is better today than it's ever been. The data is better than it's ever been. So one of the things we do understand was we have more biomechanical data on the throw. Now, when we're trying to teach a bunch of young throwers, we're not necessarily focused on a ton of biomechanical data, but what we want to do is understand the key points. And one of the things that we want to understand is that how we pivot, and that's our second rotational axis. Again, we talked about it in the other video where we're talking about at the entry. Now what we're talking about is our pillar four, five, six, and that's where the axis is here. So a lot of times people teach this, to pivot. Now you're going to notice when I pivot, you're gonna see my hips not moving. So pivoting is moving this way. And so what we wanna do is always be pushing the knee and the hip out and around. And you're gonna notice that as I turn, my hips are here. You're gonna notice if I'm from this camera that my chest is up, I'm turning this way. And so you're gonna see this motion and we're gonna continue. You're gonna notice that whole time I have ground contact. One of the big mistakes we see is athletes pivoting and pushing so you see a pivot and push and you're going to see how that pushes me forward sometimes you're going to see athletes late blocking we'll talk about that in a different video on how to set the block but what you want to understand is that the axis again is vertical so that it's here the axis goes on a slight angle it comes around this comes up and it pushes and it turns and then this is what leads to the reverse being able to turn the delivery side all the way around into the finish is what you're going to do so in the shot it's a little different we're a little more loaded because the shot you have to have more leg lift right it's a freaking heavy ball doesn't fly you have to punch it off so in order to get your hips ahead there's going to be more leg lift now that in our opinion is not jumping at the finish because as soon as everything goes completely vertical you're going to stop rotation so it's about a turning and lifting we call it a corkscrew lift we want to come up punch and i think one of the best examples of that is looking at uh, ryan krauser he stays really connected to the ground tom walsh darlin romani world champion joe kovacs he elevates but you're going to notice on his 75 foot PR, he comes up and he doesn't blast way up in the air. He's blasting up and through here. And again, Joe has a slightly different style, super fast because of his height and clearly it works very well. So one of the things that you wanna see in the commonality between all these guys I just mentioned is you're seeing this motion. So you're seeing this, you're not seeing a pivot. One of the things I think the squash the bug may have come from baseball, who knows, but again I've heard that at many things and again I think it serves a point, right? It's teaching kids how to rotate but that often leads to this turn and push because there's a point and that's not teaching how to move the hip always ahead of the implement or the implement, right? So you create stretch reflex and whip and that's the key that we want to talk about. If you like this video, be sure to comment below. And if you have any additional comments or questions, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Check out the throwing chain reaction system. Lots of great information that breaks the throw down from top to bottom, weight training through throws training, everything, a bunch of new stuff coming, live webinars. Check it out. We hope to see you on the inside. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.